Hi guys, so welcome to the video today and today we will install latest Windows Server 2022 on my local Windows 10 machine using VirtualBox. So let's do it. Yeah, so first thing what you need is you need to download the ISO file uh, for Windows Server 2022. And for that, uh, I will give the link in the description box. So what you need to do, you need to go into this link and then you can uh, simply click on download the ISO for Windows Server 2022 and then just click continue. You give the details and then click continue and you will be able to download this ISO file. And I have already downloaded this ISO file just to save time and we will now install this file on VirtualBox. Yeah, we will create a virtual machine on VirtualBox now. So let's do it. Um, so I have a Oracle VM virtual box here and I will create create new virtual machine and over here I will select uh, win server win 2022 VM 01 yeah let me give this name and yeah Microsoft Windows and I will select here windows uh 10 64 bit yeah i will select windows 10 64 bit here and then click on next and uh, the minimum uh, yeah the minimum memory size you need is 4 is 4 gb but uh, since i have quite memory i will give it at least uh, yeah around 8 gb of uh, ram yeah, next uh, we will create a virtual hard disk and we will use this VDI image and dynamically allocate it. And yeah, I think uh, 50 GB is uh, fine, but you can also increase the size. So let me give it around 100 GB. Yeah, let's create. And there you have it. So we have this win. 2022 VM01. So, what I'll do, I'll click on uh, start. Okay. So, as soon as you click on start, this uh, will ask you to select the startup disk. So, I will click on browse and I will add the ISO image here. So, I will select the file where I have downloaded this. Uh, Windows Server 2022 file and I will select this and I will choose and I will click on start. And this is my virtual machine getting started now. Let's quickly wait for this to boot up. Okay, so now it's asking me to select language to install, time and uh, keyboard input. So everything is looking fine for me. I'm happy with the default selection, so I'll click on next and then I will click install now. All right, so here I'm, this is giving me some options. So I want to install the desktop experience, the Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation desktop experience. I'll select this and click on next. I will accept this agreement. And now over here in this screen, since we are installing it from scratch, we will select the custom option. And now here you can create partitions, but uh, I'm fine with this disk. So I will just select it and click on next. All right, so now it's installing the server operating system. All right, so looks like it is restarting now. And we will wait for this machine to come up again.
Okay, so now we will set the administrator password. So let me give the password. All right, press Control Alt or Delete to lock. Oops. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go to Devices, Input Keyboard, and I'll select Insert Control Alt or Delete. Yeah. So now I will give admin password. Okay, looks like this uh, server is up and running. Okay, let's wait for server manager to come up. I will close the server manager for now and let's see. All right. So, yeah, let's go to File Explorer and So this is CD drive, which is our, okay. So this is our local disk C, 100 GB and 88 GB is free. Yeah. So things are looking good. Let's quickly click on properties and let's set, let's check what operating system this is. Okay. And as you can see, this is Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation. Yeah. So this looks good. Let's see if we can install this guest additions on this virtual machine. All right, so yeah, let's uh, run this VBox guest editions. Uh, next, install. I will select install. And I will choose to reboot now. And it will restart this machine. Let's select PowerShell. Yes, Windows PowerShell. And I will run as administrator. I will pin it to the taskbar. And I will go to properties and advanced and I will select this checkbox run as administrator.
So yeah, this is showing us this information OS name Windows Server 2022 standard edition, standard evaluation. Yeah. Physical memory. One processor installed. So we can uh, yeah probably add some more processors so that it is quite uh, it's like yeah somewhat fast. Yeah, so these are all learning docs. Okay, never mind. So what I'll do, I will quickly start and shut this down, shut down this PC. Shut down anyway, and we will try to configure. Yeah, we will try to configure this give give uh, two CPUs at least. So I'll go to settings of this VM and in advanced everything is looking good. Yeah. In system base memory is 8 GB, which is fine. Processor I can give two. Yeah, I can give two CPUs, which is which is perfectly fine for now. And let's video memory 128. It's okay. Monitor account okay. Let us enable the 3D acceleration. And yeah, everything else is okay. Storage is looking good. I will probably remove this guest editions box because we have installed it. Yeah, network is fine. Everything else is fine. So let's start this again. We can go to manage and we can click on add and yeah, add roles and features. Click next, click next, click on this is our server. Click on this, and from here, what I'll do, I'll choose web server IIS and click on add features, click on next. And I will select all the defaults. Yeah. Click on next, next. All the defaults, I'm not changing anything here. Next and install. Uh -huh. So it says installation succeeded on my machine. So I will click on close and I will click on start. Yes, I will search for IIS. And this is our IIS manager. Looks good. Haha. <laughs> so it say it's it looks like that our IES server is up and running. Let's try to click on browse 80 and see if our default IS page comes up and it's looking good. Alright guys, so this was it for today's video. I hope if you like this video, do give a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.